A number of people contacted me asking about the ruling for sharing images of the de deceased, especially in light of those tortured and naked bodies at the hands of the Israeli genocide and ask Allah Ta'ala bit tawfiq and to give us a sick answer bi idni subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number one, it is an obligation for us to amplify what is happening in Palestine as best we can, as I mentioned, I believe, yesterday. As the Prophet said about the believers, Ya Shuddu Ba'dun Ba'da, they support one another. This is Jumla Khabariya bi ma'na insha. It's actually a command that we must support one another. That being said, it is then an act of worship. Sharing things online is an act of ibadah, and ibadah must be accompanied with sincerity. We should not be sharing things for likes if the Palestinians are sharing things for life. It's a very different reality that we have to appreciate, and we have to make sure our intentions are there, that we're sharing these things for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and not for likes, not for attention, not for fame, only for Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I believe the best thing to do is to limit our own personal voices and to amplify those who are closest to the epicenter of this genocide and this massacre. And that's the Palestinian people and the Palestinian diaspora. Because their post bi idni la are closer to ikhlas, closer to sincerity, closer to the reality of the pain. The second thing is that Imam Ahmed narrates with a good isnad that during the battle of Uhud, after the battle a group of women wanted to come to the martyrs and the Prophet said, an -nisa, an -nisa, meaning keep them away because those men, their, their private parts were exposed and they were in compromised positions. Also, there's other texts where the Prophet ordered the deceased to be covered. That doesn't mean it's not allowed to share uh, images of the deceased as some have stated years ago, but what it's talking about is, is covering their awrat and keeping people from seeing their private parts. So we understand here the second rule that it's not allowed to share anything which would be haram to share if someone was alive. That takes us to the third principle and that is qa'idatu takrim, the honor that Islam gives to all human beings whether alive or dead. bani adam. This applies to all humanity, subhanAllah. And especially after someone is dead because they no longer have control of their body, control of their agency, their utility, we are commanded to be highly respectful of the dead, especially if it's going to take away from their honor or the honor of their families. So we should not be sharing images that are not only going to be harmful to that dead person in the sense if they knew about it, it will be embarrassing, embarrassing for them, but for their families who are alive, who are going to see images of their loved ones on social media in compromising positions, this is unacceptable. And we're hearing the voices of our Palestinian brothers and sisters pleading with us, please don't do this. It's shameful, especially if you understand the epistemology of Palestinian liberation and Arab culture, you can understand the sensitivity uh, around this. We ask Allah bitawfiq. And finally, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, man satara mu'minan, whoever covers a believer, satara allahu yawm al qiyam. Allah will cover that person in the hereafter. That has two meanings. It could mean covering their sins and what's hidden from the people, the awra sirriya, but also it means to literally cover a person. So either way, there is a reward and a blessing that will be equated to in the hereafter. And what's inferred is that the opposite is forbidden. The opposite of that is halal, to expose a person's nudity or to expose uh, their evil, unless, of course, there's conditions for that. So I hope that will give people some basic guidelines on this issue. We ask Allah SWT to liberate the Palestinian brothers and sisters, and to make us true allies. Again, my apologies for taking too much of your time, but these are important issues. Feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions about sort of what's going on. And if I'm able to answer, I will do my best. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.